Hey everyone, I'm super excited to share that I just passed the Google Cloud Professional Cloud Architect exam and I wanted to share this with you. I have 10 years of experience in operations and support organisations, but unfortunately my experience was in legacy systems and I didn't have hands-on cloud experience. I decided to take the PCA exam because I wanted to expand my cloud knowledge and aim for better career opportunities, even though I wasn't actively working in the cloud field, so I was certain that I needed to enhance my skills to work in the cloud field. So, for about six months, I studied for the PCA exam for around two to three hours each day, except on weekends. Let me share the resources I used. I started with the book recommended by Google, the official study guide, Google Cloud Certified Professional Cloud Architect Study Guide by Dan Sullivan. I also completed labs in the Google Cloud Skill Boost Learning Paths, which was a great way to improve hands-on experience. I took Ranga Karanam's Google Cloud PCA exam course on Udemy. In addition, I found a helpful blog, Jayendra's Cloud Certification blog, that really supported my learning. Apart from all these resources, I think the most important part of the study process was understanding Google's architecture interface. If you already have hands-on experience, I feel like reading this part will be the most helpful. Now, let's talk about mock exams. I took WizLab's exams because they were highly recommended on Reddit, but honestly, I feel like they could improve. I didn't find them very helpful. However, Powell K's mock exams, also recommended on Reddit, were very useful and helped me fill in knowledge gaps. Finally, two days before the exam, I solved the mock exam from Dan Sullivan's Udemy course, which was a good last-minute review. As for the actual exam questions, I found them to be more logical compared to the mock exams. The case study questions were much more detailed than what I had seen in the practice exams. In my exam, I got 12 questions from Terramert and Mountkirk Games. Having detailed knowledge of the resources used in the architecture design for case studies will help you a lot. Don't forget to study Cloud Run, Anthos, Apigee, Firebase Storage, CICD Pipelines, Monitoring and Security Best Practices. I also recommend looking into GKE and networking within GKE. If you've studied Google's architecture framework best practices thoroughly, I believe you can pass this exam. My advice is to finish the case study questions first, as they can be more challenging. Afterward, go back and check the rest of the exam carefully, because even though some questions may seem easy, they can be tricky. If you have continuous hands-on practice chances, don't wait as long as I did to take the exam, because you might start forgetting what you learned earlier. I had prepared for similar exams before but never took them, so if you're in a similar situation, don't be afraid to take the test. In the end, I'm really happy to have earned this certification. YouTube and your support truly played a huge role in this, and I want to thank everyone who has followed and supported me on this journey. I appreciate it a lot. I'll see you all for the next certification.